Hello there and welcome to Cricket World TV. I'm Jim White, with me today is John Pennington. Hello John, Jim, pleasure to be here good as usual. To, good to see you. And uh, we just uh, finished the South Africa versus Australia Test Match, which uh, Australia managed to win by 162 runs. John, a great game of cricket. Certainly it was. I mean, Australia picking up a comprehensive 162 run win. They Both teams, in fact, lost three early wickets in their first innings on a pretty testing pitch in Johannesburg, has to be said. But Australia went on to hit 466. Marcus North scored a century on debut. Mitchell Johnson, a stunning 96 not out. And then they bowled South Africa out for 220. A.B. de Villiers on his 50th test, unbeaten 104. No support, massive first innings league, and that really proved the uh, difference between the two sides. And although South Africa did hit back to bowl Australia out for just 207, David Top, Phil Hughes making 75, that left them a target of 454. And although they did indeed ch chase down 414 in Perth, very different pitch, they weren't able to come close. Today they were bowled out for 291. Graham Smith hit a century on the fourth day, and then Mitchell Johnson led the way. Final round performance for him with four wickets. A lot of good scores there, but also I believe that um, Jack Callis also passed 10,000 runs in the process of the uh, first innings, I believe. He did, yes. It was uh, very little for South Africa to cheer about, but uh, Jack Callis became the eighth man to reach 10,000 test runs. Interesting that one of the first men to shake his hand was Ricky Ponting, who re reached that milestone last year. So well done to him. Absolutely brilliant. And you were mentioning earlier about uh, Mark Soth being on debutant, but he wasn't the only person. That's right. Australia named three debutants, so that doesn't happen very often, handing out the old uh, baggy green to three. Three players. Marcus North, 117 in the first innings, really played a big role in rescuing Australia, helping them get up to 466. The other two, Phil Hughes and Ben Hill, for now, Phil Hughes will want to forget his first innings. He's played a horrendous shot to get out with just the fourth ball, but he made, made amends in the second innings, a very fluent 75, which uh, enables Australia to set uh, South Africa a target of 4 5 4, which they weren't able to get. The other debutant, Ben Hill, for now, bowled with good control of the new ball. And uh, they're very impressive that uh, obviously Australia lost a huge amount of talent in the last few years, but they do have uh, players waiting in the wings who are stepping up and doing the business. And despite selling South Africa 454, a world record to win, <laughs> there obviously is an issue with their bowling attack there now. Yeah, you've got to say that they've lost the likes of McGrath, Warren, McGill, very inexperienced. People like Johnson have only played a handful of first class games. So you've got Mitchell Johnson leading the attack, Peter Siddle, Ben Hill for Nelson Davey, Andrew McDonald. All round, he's got a couple of tests behind him. And Marcus North, the uh, chief spinning option with the Michael Clark suffering with a back injury. But I mean, a lot of people have said, is Mitchell Johnson ready to lead the attack? You don't find these things out until you try it. The tried only came up, came up trumps with bat and ball. So uh, Australia really set, set a marker down and did South Africa with the work to do. Fantastic. So there we have it. Australia go 1 0 up in the series. And uh, you can see more on reports on cricketworld.com. And listen to us also on cricketworld.com forward slash radio. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.